Hi guys, Ravika here. And to those who doesn't know me, I am a freelance illustrator from Denmark. So today I am here with quite a different type of art piece. Very personal art piece in some ways. Uh, just about a year ago, um, a great artist passed away. And many of us know know her as Quinny or Quinny Art. And I'm sharing her Instagram profile just in case you're not sure you know the name. But I'm sure many of you know the art <laughs> at least. She kind of went viral, viral uh, at some point, especially with uh, among uh, makeup artists that had this uh, people did this galaxy makeup uh, thing that was based on art by Quinny. So Quinny passed away on the 8th of February last year as far as I'm aware. Uh, before that she just she survived four times heart surgery um, and she came off as definitely a fighter in, in every way. Uh, but also she was a great inspiration and her pieces are very relevant um, and still they still inspire me a lot the way she uses color and shapes and the way she tells a story within one piece um, but what I especially love about these art pieces is how relevant they are uh, in terms of um, symbolizing mental as well as physical health. Um, she had this rather unique way of p making portraits uh, based on how she felt uh, in general, but also how she felt about her disease. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, how to talk about her um, disease or heart issues or whatever. I'm not into the whole med medical stuff. And I, I think there was even an issue with her not actually having a, a diagnosis per se. Um, so I won't get into details with that, but... I think that many of her pieces function really well as symbols of a lot of mental issues that are very, very common today, uh, like anxiety and depression and uh, feeling estranged to yourself. But also she still portrays the whole wonder of the world we are living in and she uses such vibrant and nice warm colors a lot as well so even though some of the symbolism is is dark and even a bit creepy um the way that she painted it is still full of wonder and curiosity and a lot of there's a lot of joy just in looking at what she created so this piece is a little bit difficult uh, because it's about loss and it's about this very very special artist that a lot of us kind of knew but didn't actually know so it's a tribute to Quinny uh, but it's I didn't know her personally. I I wasn't her friend. I wasn't family. I wasn't anything like that. She just inspired me as an artist and as a human being uh, with the way that she apparently uh, looked at life and the world around her and herself. So um, what I wanted with this tribute was to create a pa an art piece that had some of the same thematic choices that Queenie used a lot. Uh, I chose three art pieces from her Instagram 
uh, to function as my inspirational pieces and then I chose those uh, those vibrant golden yellow stars that she uses a lot as like my focus piece and she also portrayed uh, girls a lot these pretty uh, kind of witchy girls so I knew that I wanted to do some kind of portrait with a girl in it and I early on decided that I wanted to do something with someone I wanted to paint someone with a uh, more Asian like uh, facial features um, which is kind of a challenge for me because I'm not very good at that um, I think I redrew, redrew this face like three times or something like that <laughs> which you're not seeing in the video so yay for editing um, and I wanted that flowy feel I wanted to focus on the same color palettes that was shown in these pieces like the skin tones and everything like that so you will see that ends up pretty close to to her uh, choices in color um and that's also why i'm doing the red line art actually is is to make my piece resemble her style and feel and and tones more um, but I'm still painting it in my own style naturally. It's it's my piece. I'm not trying to duplicate or copy anything that Queenie made um, because that wouldn't be a tribute. <laughs> um, I want to show that she inspires. I want to show that she is relevant. And I also wanted to make something that would make people instantly think about Quinny without it being a repost of uh, something Quinny made. And when I was drawing, I did some th thumbnail sketches for this to figure out the pose and stuff like that. And when I was drawing it, I just had this whole idea or feeling of well, looking at the pieces that Quinny made and the, the three pieces that, that I chose, um, there was this whole reference to her sickness and the heart surgeries and being betrayed by your, your own body. Um, but there was also this sense of release and wonder and light and warmth. Um, so I wanted to somehow illustrate her release um trying really hard to choose my words here so it doesn't uh come out wrong um i just think that that queenie truly belongs among the stars um as an artist she was sp spectacular and she came off like a really nice and friendly and warm person who was in touch with her emotions uh, and had a lot of uh, desire to live and embrace the world uh, with all the good and bad things that it came with. So I kind of, I was just thinking that this feeling of, of being released um, and her be belonging among the stars that she loved to paint and this whole wonder and joy uh, that she portrayed a lot. Um, yeah, it's just very difficult and emotional piece to explain. Um, but I do hope that it comes across as uh, something uh, warm and delightful and not morbid or anything like that. I hope it comes across as a tribute to Quinny in a positive way. 
So, yeah. I spent my... I spent a lot of time with this piece, just... Uh, contemplating <laughs> what I wanted to make and um, how to symbolize both myself and Quinny in the art piece. Um, if there is a one regret with the art piece, it's probably that I wish I made the girl smile so it seems more lighthearted. Um, but that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I feel like it, it captures both Quinny and, and my own style pretty well. Anyways, I hope you guys out there are safe, happy and in good health. And take care of yourself and the people that you love. Bye. <laughs>